Welcome to the Royal Academy of Arts in London. I'm Tim Marlowe. Coming up, my selection of the best shows around the world this July. Starting in Beijing with a much anticipated survey of one of China's leading artists. Ulin Centre of Contemporary Art, or UCCA, will present the city's most comprehensive exhibition to date of the artist Zhu Bing. Since emerging from the Chinese avant-garde scene in the 1980s, Zhu Bing has steadily gained prominence for conceptual work that engages with visual culture, media technology and linguistic exchange. His process is rigorous. He often spends years researching subjects from language acquisitions to surveillance networks. The result is subtle, multi-layered work such as Book from the Sky from 1987 to 91, an installation formed from thousands of made-up Chinese characters, and last year's film Dragonfly Eyes, a melodrama created from 10,000 hours of edited surveillance footage. These works encourage us to consider both traditional East Asian culture and prescient issues in contemporary society more broadly. The exhibition opens on the 21st of July. Now, from one of the most populated parts of the world to one of the most remote and a celebration of land art. The fifth edition of Land Art Mongolia begins this month and it's the world's only biennial focusing solely on land art as an artistic phenomenon. More than 200 artists from 45 countries and six continents submitted proposals on the theme Who Are We Now? A look at human values today in relation to how we perceive and connect with nature. From the submissions, 29 artists have been selected to realise works in this exquisite setting, and if previous contributions are anything to go by, they'll be extraordinary and thought-provoking. The LAM 360-degree biennial runs from the 29th of July to the 25th of August. I hope you're lucky enough to make it. Another biennial, this one a little closer to home, well, for me at least, opens in Liverpool this month. Now in its 10th edition, the Liverpool Biennial has become an important fixture in the UK's contemporary art scene. Beautiful World, Where Are You? is this year's theme, with artists and audiences asked to reflect on a world in social, political and economic turmoil. The Biennial will feature 40 artists from 22 countries. Highlights include new wave filmmaker Agnes Varda's first piece in the UK, art by Inuit, Aboriginal and other indigenous communities at Tate Liverpool, and a healing garden modelled on the traditions of Algerian gardens by Mohamed Borouissa. The biennial runs from the 14th of July to the 28th of October. My final pick takes us to Holland, to a city renowned for its liberalism, with an exhibition exploring a key moment of cultural and artistic flowering. Amsterdam, magical centre, art and counterculture 1967 to 1970 at the Stedelijk Museum seeks to position the city at the centre of artistic and cultural revolution. Anti-establishment artists use new platforms on the street, in magazines or on TV to propagate new ideas and ways of thinking, or so the argument goes. The show will present more than 350 works and reproductions by artists that include Fred Den Ouden, Kurt Steiff, Vin T. Shippers and the Event Structure Research Group. Sex, drugs, politics, women's liberation and psychedelia. There's something here for everyone. The exhibition opens on the 7th of July. So there you have it, my selection of the best of exhibitions from around the world this July. I do hope you get to see at least one of them. 